um, Sri Ramakrishna could be extremely funny. You see, we think that religion and spirituality are such profound things and one must be always be serious. Especially in this country, you know, that people think, I can, I just, uh, sitting here and looking at the faces, all sitting grimly there, you know. <laughs> you know I had to have a religious talk now. I must swallow it like medicine. You know, it's, good, it's good for me. But if you see the gospel of Sri Ramakrishna, you will find on page after page, there are little brackets and it says, all laugh. All laugh. And they are laughing. There are accounts of places where the young men who are sitting next to Ramakrishna, there is one young man who is rolling on the floor with laughter. He has got stitches. He can't help it. And Sri Ramakrishna used to be so funny. He would have them all in stitches in no time at all. Once in Belurmat, some of the young monks were laughing in a room uh, and Swami Turiyanandaji, the great Vedantin, he was in another room, Hari, uh, Hari Maharaj. And he heard the young brahmacharis and sadhus laughing loudly in the evening. So he was a little irritated. He went down and he scolded them. He said, have you realized God? Then what's there to make so much merry about? How come you can laugh? You're having the time of your lives. But have you realized God? And they kept quiet, ashamed, until one of them was plucky enough to point out, but Swami, when we read the gospel, we find you and everybody else laughing all the time when Sri Ramakrishna was there. <laughs> and Swami Turiyanandaji loved it. He said, yes, you are right. Good, go on, uh, go on, laugh, laugh to your heart's content. Wonderful, wonderful. So, Sri Ramakrishna, there's the human side of Sri Ramakrishna, is as remarkable. One of the names given to him is Naradeva, the man-god, the human, divine. So there are these two sides.